Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how to combine multiple CSV file or Excel files into one file. In current example, I have region wise data in CSV format. I'll open one of the file. Suppose I have opened this file. I have I opened this Australia file. You can see it has a multiple data covering region, country, uh, total revenue cost and other details also. Okay and same similar kind of details are there in other files also what i want i want to combine these all files into the one single file with the help of power query so how to do that let's check out we'll open one blank excel file in that i will go to the data ribbon so in the data ribbon we have the first section called get and transform data this is a section which is used for power query transformation so in that we have first section called, first icon is called gate data uh, through which we can get the data from various sources like excel txt or from various databases in the current example i want to combine the data from csv files which are sitting in the uh, multiple csv file which is sitting in the one of the folder so i'll click on from folder it will ask me for a path of my path of the folder path so what i will do I will go to this fill where I have the CSV files. I'll copy this path. I'll put that in my folder path, then click OK. Once I click OK, it will go on for some seconds. And then it will open one more window. And it will show me that I can directly click on either combine if I want to combine all the files and don't want to perform any transform steps. But in the current example, I want to perform some transform steps. So I'll click on transform data. It will open one window. It's called Power Query Editor window. So it has some ribbons, same like what we can see in Excel, but little different through which we can perform the transformation steps. On the right side, you can see Query settings and it has first as a query name so it is region wise i don't want to change it or if you want to change this you can change here last is called applied steps so any steps are applied in the power query will reflect in the applied steps on the left side you can see the queries so all queries in this file will reflect here now in the current data we, we can see all five csv files are reflecting here and i want to combine those all files so in the first icon i'll just collapse this in the first icon i can see the two down arrow icon is there so i'll click on this icon that will combine my all files so i have clicked this it will evaluate the query it will go on for some seconds then it will connect the query so it has shown one more window it's called combine files i'll just click on ok power query in the background will apply some steps and will combine my all the files together so it's it is evaluating the query now you can see in the queries panel it has applied various steps it has created sample file on in the region wise data it has combined my all the data together so data has loaded here now you can see in the source name if i click here and load more it will show all my five files together so it's it is showing that all files are got together combined together so now in this file i will keep only the data which is needed and other data i can directly remove so what i will do i needed my region i need country i want to see item also which i have sold i need the channel I'm selecting all these columns by holding down the control key. I'll go to the right side. I'll select the hold down the control key, then click on revenue again with the help of control key cost. Then I'll click on profit uh, rest columns. I don't need it. So in one of the column, I will right click, then click on remove other columns. So you can see now other data is now data has been arranged by removing the other columns. So on the home tab, or I can say home ribbon I have close and load option and in the drop down close and load to option if I click directly on close and load it will put this entire table in the new worksheet and if I click on close and load to 
for just for our current example i'll click on close and load to it will ask me how you want to see the data whether you want to see the data is in the pivot or pivot table uh, sorry in the in the table in the pivot table report pivot chart or you just want to create the connection currently i want to see the table so i'll click on table then i will click on existing worksheet because i need this data in existing worksheet i will select the cell a1 click ok so it will put that the combined data together in one table so you can see in the right hand side the all data has got combined and it has loaded 5898 rows and this is entirely dynamic so if you want to add or update any data with a, then what you have to do you just have to add or change the files in our this folder so just to cross check whether it is and whether it is updating correctly or not what i will do i have two more regions called asia and europe i'll select those two regions i will drag those to my folder region wise folder so asia and europe is there i'll go to my excel file in this excel file i just need to refresh the data to see my asia and europe region as well so to refresh the query there are three options either you can click on region wise right click refresh or you can go to the data tab click on refresh or in your existing table right click refresh so i'll do right click refresh before i click on refresh just keep eye on this count number on region wise so if I click on refresh, you can now see that it has loaded 10,000 rows. And now in the region column, you can see Asia and Europe data has also came together. I hope you like this video. Thank you all. See you in next video.